So now we're going to be using, uh, looking at that again, this opening position here with counter strikes, a slightly different kind of approach here. We're going to be looking at a hair, hair grab uh, uh, attack. This largely happens to women when they're trying to control the person by grabbing the head and moving it around, okay? And if I really get, the woman has long hair, grab the hair and I can take her right to the ground. The enemy can take her to the ground and then uh, sexual assault or other physical violence. So the issue is that by grabbing the hair, the, the attacker is attempting to uh, intimidate, to control, and disrupt body positioning so that he can control her or you. It can also happen for men as well. You get into a, a, a real fast scuffle, you get out of control, the person just might grab your hair. Right? But most men now have shorter hair, so it's less likely. Okay? Um, so this is what we're going to do. So first thing, if the, obviously if they're reaching in to grab, right, you don't let them. All right? As much as possible, you never let the person get their hands on you. But sometimes it happens. So we're going to start the drill for them having grab. Okay? So immediately, you start full pushing me around. See, this is no good. My response, a natural response, might have just got my hair cut, so <laughs> it's hard to hold on to. Um, the natural response might be to pull away. But if I pull away, look what happens to my body structure, okay? I'm bent over, my, my waist is back this way, and that hand's probably coming to start punching me or slapping me to control me, especially for the woman. It was maybe slap to, to keep them under control. So you don't want to just pull away. Instead, as they start moving around, keep this hand up, know where it is, and control that hand. You let go. It's basically that position in the cut. All right? So we're here. The other thing, I'm using my cast to stop moving me around. Right? Move, move. I'm trying to keep my feet underneath me as much as I can. All right? Like this. So that cat stance gives me stability, and I'm trying to keep my structure as best I can, all right? So I'm not pulling away, um, I'm trying to keep body structure, uh, in, in, uh, structural integrity, okay? Also with this hand, I know what this hand is doing, okay? And if he lets go, great! I can follow up with something else. I know he's letting go, yeah? So, the other danger is this hand, okay? So he's moving me around, I want this hand up, okay? To protect from this. There we go. It's basically that position in the kata, right? So what we're gonna do first is we'll do the, the grab, and I want you here, and I want you moving around with this hand up, checking any possible attacks and keeping structure. That's just the first part, okay? And as with confrontation, you don't want to be doing it. You want to be dancing with the person, obviously. But we're just trying to get used to that idea. What happens is once that happens, I'm grabbing, I'm here, this hand, boom, uppercut. Just start wailing, okay? You might try and swing. I can check, right? And just keep wailing, right? It can be um, uppercut. It can be open hand. I'm just getting this in the face, and I'm not uh, letting up. I'm assaulting his head as hard and as fast as I can. Right, remember Ian Evans talks about the angry cat? That's what you want to be. The cat stance also suggests kicks and knee strikes. So you can be wailing here, I can be kicking here as well, okay? We'll slowly add that in as we drill it, all right? Now, one thing you do, I would not recommend is you might want to try and go take the person to the floor, okay? The problem, he still has the, the hand is so I'm striking, right? And I try to do some take there like the, the kata suggests. Well, they're still holding on to you. You're going down with them. Now it's a ground game. You don't want that, right? So my preference is to try to keep them from going down. Don't go down intentionally. And just start kicking, striking the groin, striking here, kicking the groin, until he lets go. Once that's free, you get out of there. So again, it's this basic posture, okay? If they grab with this one hand on this side, you grab that side and try to get away from the other hand. So again, you just grab here. I want to try to get away from this as much as possible. So it's, I'm trying to circle this way, okay? If you grab with this hand, in order to strike you, well, I'm going to try to go away from that side. But again, I'm using this basic structure, okay? 
And continue. Move your feet. Use that cat stand to keep your structure as best you can. Get your feet up under you. You don't want to be leaning forward because they can pull you down. Try to get your feet underneath you. Feet underneath you. And mate. So check that punch and then throw your uppercut. Throw your uppercut. Right? That chest block position is your uppercut. All right. Continue. Throw that uppercut. And mate. Switch hands. Don't forget, throwing those knees. The cat stance implies knee strikes and front kicks. So throw those knees, throw those front kicks. Front kick to their knees or front kick to their groin. You can also pull them in and knee strike their groin. Mate.